The one thing we have yet to do in this unit is some stoichiometry. So let's look at one of those problems now. I'm given a 50 gram sample of calcium oxide and I'm told it decomposes in a 26 liter container. The final temperature at the end of this process is 150 degrees Celsius. The question that I'm asked is what is the partial pressure of the oxygen gas that's produced? In a stoichiometry problem, the first thing we always do is write a balanced equation. So I have calcium oxide. Calcium has a plus 2, oxygen has a minus 2, so calcium oxide is just CaO. And it's decomposing, so it's not combining with anything. When calcium oxide decomposes, it splits apart into calcium, which is just Ca, and oxygen, which is one of my diatomics, so that's O2. So to balance that, I'm going to have to put a 2 here and a 2 here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert to moles. I'm told that I'm given 50 grams of calcium oxide. So if I have 50 grams of CaO, I know that one mole is equivalent to 56.1 grams. So I get 0 0.891 moles of CaO written a balanced equation, we've converted to moles. Normally the next step is to find the limiting reactant, but we're fortunate this is a decomposition reaction, so there is only one reactant, therefore it's the limiting reactant. So then we use the number of moles of my limiting reactant to look for my product. This question is specifically looking for oxygen, so I'm going to use my 0 0.819 moles of CaO and then my ratio of oxygen to CaO is that there's one oxygen for every two CaO. So I get 0 0.446 moles of O2. I kept some extra digits in my calculator, so that's why my number might be a little bit different than yours, but we should be in the same ballpark. I know my moles of oxygen, but the question is asking for the pressure of oxygen. How do I find pressure? Well, let's take a look at what else I know. I am given a volume and I'm given a temperature. So if I know the moles, the volume, and the temperature, I can use the ideal gas law. I could say PV equals NRT. And just like the last question, if I'm solving for pressure, I could say pressure equals nRT over V. Now, we've got to be careful here. I've got a temperature that's at 150 degrees Celsius. So we want to convert that to 423 Kelvin. Otherwise, I should be good to go to use the ideal gas law. So my pressure of the oxygen gas is going to equal the moles of oxygen gas, which we know to be 0.446 moles, times the ideal gas constant, 0.08206 liters times atmospheres divided by moles times Kelvin, times my temperature, which we converted to 423 Kelvin, all divided by the volume, which is 26 liters. So I can check. Moles cancel out, liters cancel out, kelvins cancel out, and I'm left with atmospheres. So when I'm done, my pressure of the oxygen gas equals 0 0.595 atmospheres.